you know. Thank you. How y'all doing? All right. That was like four people, and I actually need the energy because I really didn't want to come, truth be told. I didn't have it in me. I've been taking a break from activism as a part of my own critical self-care. And to be quite honest, it's very hard for me to get anything out of my mouth right now, but my brother called me and I argued with him over text. And I said, I, I can't go. I'm taking a break. I'm sad. It's hard. Trauma after trauma is difficult. But he told me that it wasn't just about me or him, that there was a message that I needed to share that had nothing to do with me, but there were ancestors before me that asked me to respond to the call. And so that's why I'm here. I wanna make sure you all are still with me and understand that I, I'm not talking to you right now. Those who asked me to follow a call are talking to you. Is that okay? So the Sister Care Alliance is an organization that promotes self-care as a form of social justice and social justice as a form of self-care for women of African descent. And when I saw what occurred with the Tatiana and many, many other black women, of course it stung my soul. But I want to tell you two things, if that's okay, before I hand over this mic. Is that all right? That was seven people. Is that all right? Yes. Please do not let people tell you that it is not okay for you to gather and talk and support. Isolation breeds illness. And so the success of everything that destroys our community lies in you staying alone. There is nothing wrong with you coming to this gathering. Are you hearing me? There is nothing wrong with you coming out here because you don't want to be alone. Are you hearing me? Yes. There is nothing wrong with you coming together to support those who are grieving. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I want to make sure you're clear that as a people, when we gather, it is a form of critical social self-care. Do y'all understand? What has isolation done for you lately? I can't hear you. What has isolation done every time we see someone that's murdered without true justice? What does it do for you? Well, I'm gonna back up and say, I can't offer anybody any words of solace. I can't make you feel any better. I can't give you a critical self-care plan off the cuff before I get off this mic. But what I can tell you in particular for black women is find the spaces that involve two things and offer it to you. Are you ready? Yes. Compassion and strategy. There are so many organizations that offer black women zero compassion. And they also offer us zero strategy for how we survive in this world. A Tatiana is a name that we may not know personally, but who felt it? Raise your hand. Who felt it? What would you think it would feel like to be alone, even with a young one present, but not another adult, no brother, no father, nobody there to protect her? What do you think that felt like? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What else? Do you know every day there are black women walking around feeling like that? Yeah. There is no reason that we can't leave this space without searching out and knowing about organizations that offer black women compassion and strategy while we're choosing to fight. Raise your hand if you represent an organization that offers black women strategy and compassion. Raise your hand. Do you all see the hands raised? Raise your hand if you would like to walk into an organization that offers strategy and compassion when this happens and not just outrage. So I ask that you find an organization that can offer you these things no matter who you are 
And don't leave this space thinking that gathering is a problem. Can we agree to that? Yes. I thank you for letting me share just a little bit. And I want you to know that those who are benefiting from your dismay, your dis despair, your depression, and, and the weakness that comes up when you're traumatized, they love when you're alone. Did you hear what I said? They make more money when you're alone. They make more money when you're depressed. They're like, watch another video of somebody getting shot because that means that you're going to do less and you're going to produce less and your children are gonna feel less than because you're not gonna take a strategic, compassionate step to taking better care of yourself. What does that sound like? A counter strategy to you flourishing. So never ever forget that there are people who are benefiting from your demise. They are benefiting from your depression. They benefit when you don't gather. Raise your hand if you represent an organization up here. Raise your hand if you represent a church. Raise your hand if you represent a home that can welcome someone in that feels like they may be falling apart. Do you all understand that is a strategy? So we're not gathering for no reason today, yes? Two people. Are we gathering for no reason? Why are we gathering? Because this is the way we take care of ourselves. When I walked up here and I saw people that I love and care about and they gave me a hug, it helped me walk up these steps when he called my name. And I needed that, otherwise I would have isolated. Please do not isolate. Give each other a hug. Reach out, offer dinner to somebody. Take good care of yourself and each other. Thank you.